Secret Maker. Let me tell you a secret. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Again, I'm making this video at 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> so my grandma gave me her old coffee maker. This is a total side note, by the way. I hope mom doesn't get mad that I just put it in my room. Alright. Um, she was kind of excited about it, and I don't know why. She don't drink coffee. I mean, technically, I guess you could use this for hot chocolate as well, but I don't think she's going to get mad because I'm the only body in the house that would use it. She'd probably get mad that I put the sugar in here, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to put that back. Probably not too lazy, but, um, yeah. I don't know why, but, um, last video sounded like garbage, and I, I had to enhance it, and I got it the best I could. I thought this would make the audio sound better. See, it's just some little uh, scotch tape that are, that's clear. Sorry, guys. But anyway, I have to start the recording, but I'm going to show you guys how to secure your phone. Android. Now, some of the stuff can still work on iOS, of course. So let me just record this here. Alright, so now you should be seeing the Android screen. Um, turn my phone bright on, uh, my PC brightness up here. I already have a bunch of stuff on here. I'm running an Android emulator. LD player if you want to know um, yeah so you want to make it to where advertisers and stuff can't get your info and stuff like that so you want to go to your settings and also I'm going to show you how to like speed up your phone and whatnot so you automatically want to go to about phone or about tablet and you want to somehow it might be in software but you want to find where it says build number click it a bunch of times until it says you are a developer okay and then there should be a whole new option unlocked. And uh, what you do is you'll click it. You'll slowly scroll down to uh -huh, Windows Animation. Scare all of these. You want these three to be off. It's on one by default. If you turn them off, it doesn't do that stupid fade. See, watch. This is what it looks like with it on. See how it like, especially your older phone, it makes it very slow. See how it fades. Of course, this I, I gave it plenty of resources so it's actually fast on my computer, but if you turn it off, it doesn't do like the fade when you open it up. You know how it goes, it just fades in like that, it just bounces in or whatever. <coughs> it won't do it anymore. And then you get to see the raw speed of your phone. If it's still slow, that means your phone's just slow. Um, <clears throat> can't do nothing about it. You could also go to Google and all, oh yes see where it says services you see where it says ads click it and then click opt out of internet based ads click ok and uh, do not enable this one uh, reset then you want to reset your advertising ID so because then it's gone um, yeah there you go you could also hold on let me make sure this is the right one no it's not one okay then you can scroll down to security and make sure you actually have everything you want set in there as well. Now the next thing is you actually want to manage your Google account. Um, I have mine probably already turned off, don't I? So I can't really show you guys. So if you go to data and personalization, you can um, go to add personal. Yeah, I have mine off. It's on by default, but this pretty much analyzes your personality. So if you, I'm gonna turn mine back on for for a second. Of course, it's not gonna have anything, but. It'll have the basics, 25 to 34 years old. I had to lie, obviously, to make the account. Mail, comics, and animation. Turn off. I guess those didn't delete. But, um, yeah. It's insane. So, it, like, most people, and it will try to predict the future. Like, it was able to detect I'm single. Screw you. <laughs> so, turn that off. Because, I mean, it, it's insane. But once they turn it off, like it, they have 24, it deletes itself, 24 hours. Now you probably want to turn off my activity and timeline. Sign in. Yes. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why this thing has a broken browser. Hold on. Uh, must, oh, okay, well, that just got stuck in a boot loop, so hold on. Sorry, guys, I can't do five minutes a clip. Um, I can, but it takes too long to import, so I try to go under that so it's not so much storage. Um, 
Web and act activity, I'll turn that off to be honest with you. Scroll down, click pause. Um, now YouTube history, that won't hurt, but yeah, that's what I'll do. And that's already like 50% of the stuff you want to do done out of the bat. Now what you want to do is you want to download an app called Fake GPS and Winscribe. Alright, see these two? Download them on the app store and then um, go ahead and pause this video. I'm going to take it that you came back and um, now I'm going to show you what to do. Now for a Fake GPS to work, it won't work unless you do this. So you go to settings. Once you have it installed, obviously. Developer options. And then when you scroll down, it should be near this part, so shouldn't be too far. Oop, I went too far down. Select mock location app. You want it to be on a fake GPS. Now, I don't if you don't want to pay for one scribe and unlimited data is two dollars a month with a custom plan. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. There's a totally free one out there called one dot one dot one dot one and um there's a bunch of keys that have been leaked which i actually was able to copy and paste into my google keep before the post got deleted and some of them have unlimited and i'll put those in the description so yeah warp plus unlimited <clears throat> yeah so <sighs> i really wish people would guys if you're going to leave a review relieve a proper review don't be stupid. What's so funny is that if you actually were to, um, that's, I mean, dude, <sighs> works fine for me. If you actually just clear at the app cache, idiot. Don't don't be on here complaining if you don't know what you're talking about. So, sorry, I can't breathe. Hold on. Oh, sorry guys, I'm back. So what is warp? When it's connected, blah, blah, blah. Right, our commitment to privacy. <sighs> anyway guys, you probably want to use warp, it's better. Um, either you're going to use this, and then click install VPN profile, and then there you go, it's free. And, especially, and now I'll show, I'll show you how to copy and paste that key. So you top, top right, you click on account. And you see where it says key, right? You just click key, and then where it says change key, you'd copy and paste it from wherever. Um, so, yeah. Now, it's very secure. And now, like TikTok and everything, most of it um, won't be able to get your information. Now, you could probably, you you would still have to um, turn settings off in apps. But yeah guys, that's pretty much mostly all of it right there in your Google account and your Android phone. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Now, let me see if there's something in this one. This is Android 7. Sorry guys, this thing is hurting my eyes. Right. So, and also you want to do this. Encrypt tablet, if you have the option. You don't have to, and your SD card. If you if your if your phone actually has it, and a lot of people don't. As you guys can see. Um, I hope this doesn't mess with the recording at all. If it messes the recording, I shall be. Alright. Um <laughs> oh, please tell me it's not stuck though. Uh oh. This isn't looking too good. Uh oh. Guys, this is looking too good. My I guess my I am using like a virtual machine here, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, anyway, guys, that's pretty much all for this video. If you liked, subscribe, like, dislike if you disliked it. Follow my social media and my main channel, Loner Studios, and our podcast on every Saturday, known as the Coldcast, also found in feature channels. And, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. And I am.